Hey, what's up guys? Ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? So, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I just want to talk to you guys about Zen mode, okay? Now, Zen mode is just part of this journey, okay? And basically, if you don't know what Zen is, it's, um, it's a Japanese terminology. Hold on a second. Let me catch fire. So it's a Japanese, it's a Japanese saying, okay? It's, um, it basically means that um, uh, how you are in your mind and how you see yourself and how you see others. It's just a state of being when you're at complete calmness and understanding of yourself and it's beneficial for yourself and for others. Okay, now, everyone has a different way of achieving Zen mode, okay? Everyone has a different way of, of getting to the, get, getting on this level. Now, the, um, it's, it's basically when you're in harmony with yourself, okay? And being in harmony with yourself is, can be quite difficult depending on your situation, okay? Now, how do you achieve it, okay? It's basically, for me, it's, for me and for you, it should be when you're enjoying yourself at the most, okay? When you're enjoying yourself at the most, okay? So if you have your job and you, and you don't like your job, there has to be a way that you have to be enjoying your job um, until you find a way to get, get another job that you enjoy more than your current position. But, but at the same time, what's happening on the inside of your mind can be controlled and it can and, and you can it's it's definitely very easy for you to be on yourself right now the way everything is you may be at home right now um, you know worrying about the future worrying about what's gonna happen don't worry you have to stay positive being positive is your biggest asset right now okay being positive and also being active and trying to reach your goals now okay so there's a few steps you should take for yourself right for me I use I collect fragrances okay my channel you see a lot of colognes uh, if you probably hopped on my channel for some reason or another, you you haven't ever been to my channel before, welcome. And uh, I like to talk about fragrances, all right? And the reason why I started collecting fragrances was for a different reason. Mostly I was mostly in, into it for compliments, but as I started building my collection, things have sort of changed now, okay? I use cologne basically for me to make myself happy, all right? And you should do that as well. There's a lot of uses for fragrances, uh, you know, for women perfume. And actually, I believe that women can wear men's cologne as well as, as a woman's perfume. Um, number one reason being is that men have a lot more in their library of um, types of smells because we just, they, the way they design fragrances is more adventurous and more daring for men. So check out men, check out men's perfumes, more ladies, because a lot, a lot of us don't um, wear cologne and it's basically just sitting on the counters and nobody's using it, right? Um, so fragrance has been used for thousands of years, okay? Thousands and thousands of years. They use it incense, they use candles, and I recommend you getting candle, a candle as well. Candles are very, very useful, okay? Especially um, when you're trying to have a very nice ambience in your house, trying to um, kind of set the mood and the tone and keep a certain type of mood and atmosphere going, okay? Very important. All right, so, okay, you, you wanna reach Zen mode, okay? You wanna reach a point in your life where you're extremely happy, and not just that, but you are also um, content with where you are in life, okay? Now, there's a few things you're gonna have to be able to get into control, okay? Um, first things first is exercise. If you don't exercise, probably heard this a million times before, exercise, eat your green vegetables, okay? But exercise is really important, especially in the times we're in right now. Right now, a lot of people are in a situation where they're stuck at home. Right? You can't get out of the house. You can't, you know, you know, you can't go out there and see the world and see people, talk to people. It, it really, it really messes with your mind, okay? You know, the way the media is right now, Everyone's supposed to be living in fear. And this is exactly the way you don't want to be living. You want to be able to control your emotions, control your thoughts, and and be able to um, still stay active, exercise, and at the same time, still, still trying to be proactive each and every day to reach your goals, okay? Really, really important. 
All right, you want to you want to exercise and get blood flow around moving around your body into your head. Simple at home exercises, okay? Um, and if you can, go out for a walk. But of course, take the necessary precautions uh, depending on your situation. If you can't, then exercise at home. Now, um, you know, it, it gets your hormones going, it gets your nerves firing. It's very, very important. Now, the next thing you want to do, okay, if you guys smoke, if you smoke cigarettes, um, there's got to be a way to cut down. Cigarettes are much harder to stop, but as for, um, uh, for, um, Mary Jane, you want to actually try to cut down on that, okay? I've been a big proponent of Mary Jane, of having it, um, you know, it's great for, you know, helping you for music, creativity, drawing, but at the same time, um, the way things are now, it's, it, it could be um, pretty bad for you, okay? Yeah. But I, I, I do understand people who do use it, it's really, really beneficial, and it can help, help you in your life. So Mary Jane um, weed, is really important uh, for some people. It's, it's it's a medicine, but at the same time, you have to understand medicines you don't want to abuse. Okay, you want to use it correctly, at the right time, at the right mood. Um, it can be used correctly, but at the same time, now the, the way things are, we're in the house more often. Uh, we don't want to go down in some kind of dark hole you can't get out of. I actually recommend that you do slow down and wean off of it so that you have control over it, it doesn't have control over you. It's actually extremely um, important. Um, and, and it's hard to, it's hard to, um, it's hard at, at the beginning. And for, you know, you're probably wondering why do I, I have to do that? This is what I do, this is my lifestyle. But it's also a lifestyle change to try and, try and learn about yourself. And I, f I find it's hard to learn about yourself when you're on a, in a cycle, you know, taking it every day as a ritual. It's hard to, um, you kind of lose yourself after a while, right? You have to lose your um, personality, a little bit of that flair. It just kind of diminishes over time. So you actually definitely, definitely want to take a look at cutting down. Um, uh, best thing, just eliminating for some for some time or just totally eliminate uh, for some time and you know start again when you need to. Uh, another thing I talked about before is alcohol. Okay, alcohol, especially for men, for women as well, but for men, it's an immediate effect on your testosterone, lowers it, makes you more lethargic. It, uh, however, um, so okay, for weed versus alcohol. Maybe this is another video, but I'll talk about it right now. Weed versus alcohol. For, for weed, for marijuana, Mary Jane, it basically, um, it basically, you, it makes you a much easy, easier going person. We all know that, okay? You, you take it and you're relaxed for alcohol if you, if you if you take it you're going to be a, it could be more aggressive much more talkative much more social they're both social social um they're both social um, um drugs uh but i feel that with alcohol if you're if you're say you're, you're going to school maybe easier to to use it because um, it's not easy to use all the time, depending on your situation, okay? To be a full-blown alcoholic can be quite tasking on the, on your health. So you, you can realize when you're having a problem, you know, you won't be able to hold your al alcohol. With, with um, Mary Jane marijuana, you're able to um, do it all the time. Uh, after your, while your body adjusts, you know, maybe you take a few hits a day, but it, it kind of just claims your day. Um, alcohol does not. So yeah, I definitely recommend cutting down on alcohol if you're doing it daily, if you're doing it daily, daily, like two, three, four bottles a day um, of say beer or uh, four or five shots a day of whiskey. So it's a lot, that's um, that's a lot, or even one shot a day, just as a ritual, as long as ongoing, if you have a pattern, not of abuse, but just of use, you might wanna consider cutting it down because um, it, 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 um, it destroys your ability to retain water and to, um, for your body to do what it needs to do to be at top peak performance. Okay. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, once you get those out of the way, this is going to be a, this is going to be a, a, a lot, it's going to be a lot easier to, um, achieve your goals. Simply, simply said like that. Okay. Now. Another thing you're gonna to wanna to do, okay, if you're working, 
I mean, right now you have a lot of time on your hands if you're not working, right? You might have a stimulus check, whatever, is you wanna learn something, okay? Um, teaching, your, teaching yourself is one of the best things that you could do. Uh, learning, learning by yourself um, without you know, a test uh, or without any kind of, um, yeah, especially without a test. You're just challenging yourself by learning something is really important. Um, especially in this day and age with the way technology is and how much information is available to you. Maybe not all information is available to you, but if you do look, you will find it online. You know, go on Amazon, there's some books online. A lot of information you can buy and you can find for free. And also, um, if, if, if not, if you, if, you, if you look, you will find. So yeah, definitely learn. Okay, this whole the whole world is at your fingertips right now. And you just have to be clear enough to to grab hold of it and take it, okay? So yeah, learn a language. I recommend learning a language. Some people say language isn't everything, but I feel like learning a language, especially from uh, from other people that I've seen, okay? And from, yeah, I have family members. My brother, uh, they speak different languages, okay? And really, I believe, um, from just practicing myself, it kind of changes the way you the way you think in the way that each language I feel like has its own thought process and your own character. Okay, you become uh, even when you just even when you just skim over the surface and you start seeing these patterns, you start understanding like like when you when you learn them, there are different personalities to each language when you speak it. You can't be the same person because there's so many constraints in society in each society. And then when you come back to your English. You're almost like wow you know we're so straightforward i'm so you know i'm so i'm so blessed to be able to speak english as my native tongue and live in an english society and not have to be you know constrained and bound to a different language however yeah it makes you appreciate the language that you do speak and also it also kind of changes your perspective on life okay really important i think you should just just knowing that alone already but it's not the same it's not the same when you're actually trying to speak it's not the same thing. You you get more out of it when you when you actually fully engage for you know a week or two. You start to notice things about yourself. You learn you learn more about yourself. <coughs> learning a skill, okay. This is also learning for learning. Learning a skill. Uh, there's a lot of places you can learn a skill. You know, if you're on YouTube, I'm sure you've seen Skillshare. Endless the endless skills, okay. And then pick up a topic, all right? A hobby on a topic um, can be anything. It doesn't have to be anything specific, um, but pick a topic and start learning on it. Start diving down deep in it. And it can be anything. Of course, don't get it too weird, you know? Stay within the realms of, uh, of, of normal, but okay? But yeah, get into a topic and, and, and dive deep into it. Now, another thing that I wanna say is again with fragrances, it's gonna help put bring everything together right it's like a, it's like your life is a big puzzle and fragrance owning a collection of fragrances kind of just brings everything together it's like a whole package and it just brings everything together In the beginning i thought it was just all about getting compliments and you know you know have a collection of fragrances where you know i go out oh you smell good no it's not that's not it's all about it's about a lot more than that <clears throat> it kind of just it kind of just rounds you out and also uh begin to start a fragrance collection okay if you have if you're if you're just like a one fragrance kind of guy you just want to get one fragrance and that's it you don't want to do that you want to actually start building a collection you don't have to spend a lot of money it's not about money it's have it's about having a different array of scents about having different characters uh, about having different about being able to to build memories with scent okay building building a scent profile for each memory at each event about being able to uh, pinpoint times in your life by what you were wearing. Because right now, okay, I have I have a lot of fragrances right now, okay? And I can go, it's not like, okay, so you should be able to, not you should be able to, but being able to wear one fragrance starting off in the week and not wearing again for the, until the next um, end of the week is a very powerful thing, okay? So imagine you're going to school, you're going to class. I didn't have this in high school, but you know, maybe I had two or three. But being able to wear one one fragrance for uh, for a day and not returning to that for for till the next week, okay? 
now, you, now once you start building it, your collection, building it up, and you're able to wear a fragrance for, for only one day in a month. So for that one day in that month, that's what you wore. That one day will be very clear in your mind um, for what you wore, especially for when you're just scratching to wear the fragrance that you really, really like, or you even have like five or six or 10 that you really, really like. You know, each one could be like $20. Each, each one of them could be like 15 to $20, but they're bangers. They're like very, very good. So you'll remember what you were wearing. Okay, it, it builds your mind, it builds your scent memory profile. It makes you remember the day. Even if you are drinking, even if you were drunk, even if you were ablazed, that day will be remembered in your mind and it builds a library of memories. Very, very important. Sun's going crazy, absolutely nuts. So yeah, um, it makes your life more full and the sense, sense, the sense of smell is a lot more precise and a lot more broad than not than your sense of being able to see, but it's much more precise. Okay, so it's it's a very interesting thing. And once you start building your collection, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. If you guys have a collection, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and you know why you're sticking into it, and you're it's it's a lifestyle. You're you know you got the fragrance bug, and you know exactly what's up. All right. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, you're gonna need to build a co co collection of fragrances to reach a higher sense of Zen. To get to the Zen mode, it helps a lot and it's much more enjoyable. When you're challenging yourself and you are actually, and you're actually able to remember things a lot more clearly. It just, it, it helps you learn about yourself and through that, you will be on a whole nother level. This couple with a few other tactics, very, very important very very important so if you have, have any questions ask them in the comment section below you guys achieve that zen mode all right talk to you later peace